Boy, there's some fish in here. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you what, this is this is big time action. We're over here in the Red River, fishing below the tail race now, and we got a lot of current, and the, there's some big cats in here, and man, they fight in this current. Fish on. Nice, look at the size of that guy. Oh, get in there. That's a fish. Nice. Don't mind me, Walt, I'm just catching another Hey, one. all right. Gentlemen, yep. we have a Canadian tagged fish here. Wow, look at that. Did Came we win from... a prize? <laughs> no, but you caught a fish that probably swam 350 miles to get here. Wow, <laughs> just so I could catch them. Well, how's that for the first five minutes of a show? We just got the rod set up, and here's three fish. We got about 40 pounds. We got a tag over here, so we're going to get the information on this tag, and we're going to let these other guys go. Those bigger fish, they, fish they whip it hard, boy. They whip it hard. Ball. We got a double. We got a double. When we're using six and eight ounce weights, which you want to hold your bait down here in the, when you got swifter current, we're using these heavier rods. And uh, nice fish there. Oh, Walt, I see your fish and I raise you one. Oh, yes. This, one, this one's a big one. Another 20 plus, Walt. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, 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 look at that, Schnoz. Oh, look at him. Look at the color on I that like fish. I like when they're like that. Wow. One of the ways to handle this fish is with the Pro Fish Gripper by Rippin' Lips, and you can grab her on the bottom look like this, and then we can get her up here for some pictures real quick from the land of sky blue waters behind us, the Red River, and that, my friends, is a nice catfish. Let's see if you can break that rod. Let's see if you can break that rod. It's a Come big on. fish. It's a big ready? fish, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna bring him up. Oh, maybe oh. I'm not. Oh, look at that fish. Oh, man. Okay, I'm gonna bring him up right here for you. Ready? And that's a honker. Whoa. That's a honker. Good net job. Well, you guys are getting that one. I'll get this one over here. That's a honker right there. Now, this one's on a little bit lighter rod, so it's being a little Sorry. bit more of a fight with this one. Man, these things got some backs. Some shoulders on them fish, as they say. They put a hurt on your arms, that's for sure. Oh, look at that size of that guy. Oh, wow. Man, this is catfishing. This is catfishing. This is catfishing. Yeah. This guy's a, this guy, this is a face only a mother could love on this one. Look at him. Oh, well, this was worth the nine and a half hour drive up here, wasn't it? Yep. There you go, buddy. What we're using is we're using white sucker cut into about one inch squares, thread it onto the hook because we've run into some short biting. So we want to make absolutely sure they get the steel of the hook in their mouth and not a short bite. Okay, I'm gonna bring it up to you, ready? And another little guy. I think I just released that one. And once again, we cleared our rods. You know, it's good fishing when it's the third time that we've cleared all of our lines in the same spot. <laughs> Goodbye. Basic catfish rig, sliding sinker. Brad makes these himself, but you can get them in any local tackle shop, usually around catfish country. They've got stamp on there of the weights, which makes it easier. Heavy duty swap swivel. He likes to put a piece of plastic tubing that you can get here at your uh, aquarium store to keep it from wrecking the knot. Followed by, we got a little short leader here. Not, usually it's a little bit longer, but the main thing that we've got a good rip and lip circle hook on here that really hooks them good. This is the new Rip and Lip Super Cat series, seven and a half foot rod, medium heavy action. Brad likes the heavier action out here in, in the uh, tail races in the rapid water where you've got some more current where we're using these heavier weights like six to eight ounce weights to keep the bait down there. And you're still able to fight these fish no problem. It's not too stiff of a rod. But what the cat glass is, it's a combination of E-glass, S-glass, and graphite. So what that does is we've got a stronger, lighter rod with a real fast tip, soft tip, so those fish don't really feel it, and then it's got a lot of backbone to fight them. We've also got these, these foam EVA handles, so when you put them in rod holders, it's not gonna mar your, your finish up. When you're fishing at night, this is an added bonus. We got a glow tip on here, so you can shine a light on here, light that up, and you can see when, they're, see when your rod's going. Or you could put a little jingle bell up there, like I like to do. Oh, that one's really down there. That's a nice one. Yeah. We got doubles. Oh look, oh look at them. Oh look at them. That's another 20. Yep. I hope I know how to net this one. Oh, where is Let's he? Go. 
Oh, there he is. He's not in the nine. I did blow it. I short armed him. Oh, I can't get him. I can't get him. I can't get him. He's trying. I can't lift. I can't lift. I can't lift. They can't lift. I can't lift. Oh, that's a that's fat a, football. It is a fat football. Oh my God, that's what we came up here for, Bob. Yep. Big old catfish like this. Uh, you net brand's fish. I'm just gonna hold this one for a second. It's a face only a mother could love, but my mother wouldn't love it, but I sure do. <laughs> I'll tell you, this is what you come up here for. That's right. Big catfish. Here's another 20 pounder. Till next time, this is Walt and Bobby from RippinLips.net and Big Cat Brad Dirk. Midwest Outdoors will be right back. <laughs>